All right, so we're using f several forms of factoring, and I'm going to start with 21 and uh, see how far I can get in 15 minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do in this problem is, uh, I mean, we have two factored form expressions, and for me to be able to factor this, I need to expand it. So rainbows and smiley faces. So I'm going to end up with k times k squared plus 3 k plus 2. And then over here, I'm going to multiply this out. I'm going to get minus 3k squared minus 3k. Now I still have this k that I need to multiply out. So really, I'm going to end up with k to the third plus 3k squared plus 2k minus this piece here, which is 3k squared minus 3k. And so now I can group some uh, similar terms. So 3k squared minus 3k squared is 0. zero. So I scratch that off. So 2k minus 3k? Negative k. Negative k. So I have k to the third minus k. Well, how do I factor this? <coughs> I go through my factoring checklist, and the first thing I have to do is I have to factor out the greatest common monomial. So k gets sent out uh, to the curb, and so we have k squared minus 1. Now, when I have a binomial, I have to look for, I have to think that we may have a difference of squares. Is k squared a perfect square? Yeah. Is 1 a perfect square? Yeah. That means I have a difference of squares. To factor a difference of squares, I'm going to have a binomial pair. Okay. K is still on the outside. I'm going to have a plus and a minus. The square root of k squared is k. And the square root of 1 is 1. And there's my answer. So moving on to the next problem. I'm going to erase this. Feel free to pause the video as I go through so that you can get help on the ones you need help with. Uh, for number 24, it starts in the first same place. Um, we want to factor out the greatest common monomial. And I, I see that this last term does not have a, a number, but all three of those do have an A. So obviously, I'm going to factor out an A. A to the fifth divided by A is A to the fourth. 18a to the third divided by a is positive 18a squared. 81a divided by a is 81. And so I still have my a on the outside right here. And so now it's time for me to factor again. So hmm. Well, 81 is a perfect square. A to the fourth is a perfect square. There's a good chance this is a square binomial because the outside terms are both perfect squares. And I know this if the square root of 81 times 2 is my middle term. That's that 2ab thing we talked about for the middle Ooh. term long, long ago. The square root of 81 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18, so it's a square binomial. So I have a to the second plus, because both of those are positive, uh, 9 squared. Now here's the tricky thing. If we had uh, a squared minus 9, we could then factor it again as a difference of squares. But it's not, so we won't. Uh, yep, and that's the right answer. Just double checking the answers. Hate to lead you astray. So number 27. Uh, <coughs> this one's a little trickier. Uh, so we need to group things. And I know in class we talked about grouping similar terms uh, that looked similar, um, but we're not going to really be able to find a trinomial in this. So I'm going to try uh, to factor this as two binomials and see what I get. So the first thing I notice is that I have u squared minus 4v squared, and I know both, th both of those are perfect squares. So this is probably a difference of squares. Uh, well, it is a difference of squares. So I'm going to have my pair of uh, factors. I have a plus and a minus. I have u and 2v. 
u and 2v. Over here, I have 3u minus 6v. Now, those aren't perfect squares, so I can't factor this as a perfect of square, uh, difference of squares. But th this is uh, 3. 3 goes into both of them, right? So I'm going to have 3 on the outside, and 3u divided by 3 is u minus 2v. Now, this is a little tricksy because we notice that we have u minus 2v and u minus 2v, right? And we have since learned that if you're multiplying something on the outside of a binomial, you can group those together. So that means I have u plus 2v, that's from this part, plus 3, which occurs here. And I'm multiplying all three of those terms by u minus 2v. And that's it. I can't do more than that. So really, th this, these problems aren't too long well, once you get the hang of it. So for number 30, uh, we're going to look at this one. And I notice that we have, what do we have? We have x squared and negative 2x. And there's a good chance I'm going to guess wrong in the grouping side of things. And if that happens, that's the way it goes. We'll just back up and see where it goes from there. So if I, <coughs> if I uh, factor out a uh, x here, that would leave me with x minus 2 and x on the outside. But that's not going to really help me a whole lot for this piece here, is it? Because I would, uh, I mean, I could factor out a negative 4 y. I'm getting there. A negative 4 y. But if I factor out a negative 4 y, I'll end up with y plus 1. And those aren't the same thing, right? So that's not very helpful. So is there another way that I can go about doing this so that I have similar terms? Well, what happens, what would happen, what would happen if I group the, uh, the squared terms together? Let's see what happens if I do that. So if I go x squared minus 4y squared, and let's group that together. I'm going to move that over a little bit. And that would leave us with... Uh, these terms here, so that's plus negative 2x minus 4y. Let's, let's see what we get out of this. So I have a difference of squares here, which factors to x plus x minus 2y, 2y. Now this is starting to look a little more promising. Because I'm pretty sure I can get a 2 or an x minus uh, or x plus 2y here. So let's see what we get. So I'm going to factor out. I'm going to factor out a negative 2 in this negative 2, negative 2. So I have a negative 2 on the outside, and I will end up with positive x plus 2y. Now we're getting somewhere because I have this x plus 2y. Have this x plus 2y. And I'm multiplying x plus 2y by this piece here and that piece there. So that means I can put these three things together. So I have x minus 2y minus 2. And I'm multiplying all three of those terms by my x plus 2y. No, that's it. It's not squared because you're not multiplying x plus 2y times x plus 2y. There's this separated piece here. And so that's why it is what it is. And let's double check the answer. So that was, uh, what? oh my goodness, I jumped to 30. I forgot 27. Uh, and, uh, oh, OK. Uh, as luck would have it, that is the answer. So we're good. So moving on to 33. 33 starts off pretty darn simple. That is obviously a difference of squares. So we have a squared minus a squared plus, and so this is b squared, and this is b squared. Now the trick here is this is a double difference of squares, because this right here 
is a difference of squares. They're square terms, and we're subtracting. So that means I'm going to have those two parentheses, two, uh, that pair of parentheses, and I'm going to have my a squared plus b squared. That is not a difference of squares. I can't do anything with that. What is the square root of a squared? A. I have my plus, I have my minus. What is the square root of b squared? B. And that's all you can do with it. That's right, some of these can, can be done in mere seconds. Let's try 36. So for 36, I have uh, 8a to the third plus 4a uh, squared b. Uh, I have a squared b. And I don't do the, OK. So what, what are some of the things I can look at? Well, I notice that all these terms here have 2a. But then I also notice that these terms here have b's. So what I really want to do is be able to factor things so that I have common terms. Now, th I think the trick here is, is to, to group it here, because when I group here, I'll have 1b here, and I'll have 1a over here when I factor stuff out. And that's going to be the same thing if I group this piece together. So I, I think that's how I'm going to have to group it. So what goes into 8a to the third and 4a squared b? Well, 4a. So I'm going to divide this 4a out in the middle here. So we have the 4a that goes on the outside. And 8a to the third divided by 4a is going to be 2a squared. And then, <coughs> and then we have plus b. Oh, no, 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 no. no. A. Oh, you know what? I can factor out an a squared, right? So that would leave us with merely a really big eraser. That would leave us with 2a plus uh, b, right? OK. So then, uh, what can I factor out here? Well, I could factor out a negative uh, b squared. And that's going to be great, because it's going to leave me with exactly what I want to have. So and that was a negative b squared. Oh, shoot. This is, this is going to leave us with a difference of squares, just you watch. So then we're going to have, uh, that's going to be positive 2a plus b and plus, oh, sorry, and that's that. So then I'm multiplying 4a squared and negative b squared times 2a plus b. But as I'm sure you're already seeing right now, wake up, buddy. That first binomial is a difference of squares, right? Yeah. So I have to factor it as a difference of squares. Make it a little easier to read. All right, so I have a plus and a minus. What's the square root of 4a squared? 2a. 2a. And so we have our 2a here, and b, and b. And I still have my 2a plus b. And there's nothing I can do with that one. So that was, a, a, uh, that was an interesting one. Didn't see that difference of squares originally, but certainly came out. All right. Uh, number 39. All right, I will try to get number 39 done very, very quickly. So, <coughs> um, well, I want it. okay. So uh, I'm going to factor. Out, I'm going to group them here. And so, what goes into both these terms? X squared. And that's going to be multiplied by x, because x to the third divided by x squared is x. Uh, and this will be minus y. On our other one here, we have 
a negative, and I really do want to have a, a factor out a negative, I, th I believe here. So factoring out a negative y squared, and so negative uh, x squared, or sorry, negative x y squared divided by negative y squared. Well, we're going to still have our x, but our x is now going to be positive, and we have y squared divided by y squared is one, so that's it. Y to the third divided by y squared is just going to be y, but it's a positive divided by a negative, so it's negative y. That's convenient. It works out. Now we're going to get our difference of squares again, right? So then I put the pieces on the outside together. x squared minus y squared times x minus y. So I realize you've already done that in your head. I heard it in the background. Now here's the trick. I have an x minus y times an x minus y. What's that? So that's x minus y squared, and I still have my x plus y. And so there you have it. There's number 39.